I came to the US in 99 as an exchange student from Serbia and like all that I had is like really it was like one suitcase. That happened right when all the wars in the Balkans ended and um, all the destruction of infrastructure. So in particular I was really fascinated by bridges and I started as a bridge EIT in uh, January 2008 with, with HDR in the Phoenix office as an H-1B student through the visa process and through the working visa process. It's a nerve-wracking deal. It may or may not happen. There's a lottery that you have to go through and, and knowing that everyone within HDR that I work with really supported me over that time, that's something that I hope I can emulate as, as I grow in my career. I, always wanted to work on a really big bridge, a signature bridge, and the opportunity did come in to work on the Tappan Zee Bridge. Our son was six months old at the time, so we said, yeah, okay, let, let's just do it. And we went to New York, and one, one of the things was there, like we didn't really know anyone in New York. I really appreciate the way we, the way we were greeted, you know, and uh, the way people treated us when we were there. About summertime, you know, it was our son's first birthday party. All these HDR people came that all worked on the job and uh, we had like a big party for, for my son's birthday and, and it really just meant a lot to me. Our daughter was born in New York while we were there. The opportunity to work on the South Mountain Freeway job came about and again, the most wonderful thing of working on these big projects and working for HDR in general is the community that you do get. After 18 years in the U.S. and 10 years with HDR, we got to be uh, qualified to apply and to become U.S. citizens. We had a citizenship ceremony here in Phoenix and again, what really touched me was that everyone from the project came to the ceremony and the project director from ADAD uh, invited the, he invited the entire ADAD team to come. And it's that community that is in large part what makes your home and what makes you who you are. And I appreciate the fact that I've had that community with HDR and, and I really feel that I am at my personal best with HDR. Mm -hmm.